All right.
Here goes Colin Fisher coming into the lineup. Thank you for the help above. So Logan yeah, Kirby's just, coming into the game. We do apologize. We just got told there wasn't any sound. Um, but we got it or, fixed, though. Yeah, we got it all fixed now, luckily, before game time. So, luckily, we didn't go through the whole so, game. Well, all that stuff, all that good stuff that we said, it's all gone. You know what? I'm What's sure we'll come back to it. Okay. So, right. we'll have some time to talk about it. It'll be okay. <laughs> well, here we go. So, this is the uh, tip-off between the Western High Jets and your Noble Bears. Thank you for joining NobleBears.tv. We've got a great matchup tonight against... Um, we got a great matchup tonight against Western Heights, and uh, I think there's going to be a lot of scoring. The key to the game, I think, for the Bears is just getting out in front and uh, really getting after it right away. Yeah, that'll be that'll be definitely the key. Score fast and early. Looks like the yep. Noble Bears and take possession right away. Logan here Kirby comes the right fast to the bucket and the with early. two. Logan Kirby puts in an easy layup. Great job by Landon to control the tip. Great job by Fisher to cough it up to Kirby right away. And now he's going to go look for his third point in just three seconds. That's kind of cool. Three points in three seconds. Man. Let's let's see if he can let's see if he can get it done here. I call Takes it a couple bounces. I call it the old fashioned three, by the way. I didn't have that in. three point line whenever I was playing ball. I'm coming up. You I'm kind of OG too, by the way. You are old. Well, you know. Old man. Yeah. Very Just good. off the legs, right. Noble Bears basketball. Noble Bears basketball. That kind of bounced off his knee there. And Elmore is going to take it. Looks like some pressure. They're going to go with the 50 up. on this one and go half court. Elmore knows what pressure's like. Kicks it over to Landon Miller. Landon Miller looks to throw it in the middle yeah, between two. Yeah, a miscommunication. Um, luckily, that ball was taken care of and handled. Kirby's going to step into it. I'll go get me three more. Oh, he missed that one and followed yep. it up. Bout cleans up his own rebound. Okay, okay. Good okay, job. I okay. think they're trying to let go. They were kind of stuck together, so good job by Logan Kirby to get to that ball. It should be Western Heights ball. Yeah. Uh-oh, I think some glasses accidentally broke right there. That's not good. Not if you're a shooter. Can't see the rim. Looks like it's full court press by the Noble yeah, Bears. a lot of pressure being brought right here. Landon right. Miller steps in to help. Elmore's got him all the way down the floor. So plays are being called out, and Western Heights has the ball on the perimeter. So another turnover by Western Heights, and that is going to be Noble Bear basketball. So the pre the pressure is being brought right here. Uh, kind of kind of a soft type of pressure, though. It's definitely not all up in your grill, uh, just to make sure they stay put. So a screen comes, and Moore takes it back out. Finds Miller cutting, and he's going to be fouled pretty hard, just tripped up on his feet. So that foul is going to be on 15. They're going to call a block on him. That's going to be his first. When you're six foot seven, those falls seem they, to they they seem to go down a little different. I think than they a, called that on Houston. You'll have to excuse me. Mm -hmm. He goes. That's a long ways down to the ground. Uh, six being foot six seven, seven yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> Feels like gravity just oh, gave out. Oh, Logan Kirby all the way to the bucket. Just misses on the outside. Yeah, just as a layup, and then Kirby's going to pick up a foul. Oh, and they got him for, on his back, too. So, the, Who did they call? The, they uh, called 22. The over the back. Yeah, he called the, you know, he kind of blocked him out. He went up and then just climbed over his back. Oh. So so that foul was not on Logan Kirby. No, no, that no, no. That was on number 22, Rohi Sama. Down on the ground. Yep, another one on the floor. That's on 15. That's going to be a foul by Charles Mitchell. I think they're going to ease up a little bit on the foul calls here in a couple of seconds. It's quite a few called in yeah, just a matter already. of seconds. I know so it. it really was. It's been a long one minute of play. It has, yeah. I think they'll ease up on them. Yeah. We'll see. Officials again, got a job to do, too. Yeah, I was about to say got the got officials got, got a job. So. They got to see the pace of the game, yeah. that sort of thing, Easy. you know, the way it's going to go. Score by Colin Fisher, two points for him. Scores I like the way Fish Noble. plays, man. He's a good one. You, you got to love the way he plays, man. He plays physical as can be. How about the game against CCS? How hard he played. And, I mean, he yeah. may just be finding his own right now. Yeah, he's really starting to get into mm -hmm. his rhythm. So, And he's not even a basketball player. So I say it almost every time I'm on the air. He, he's a baseball player. He's committed to Arkansas to go pitch for those guys. And heck of a football player. Yeah, <laughs> heck of a football player, QB1, whatever you want to call him. I mean, he does a great job. Just, just everything he does, true athlete. Yeah. And just an overall great guy. Right, yeah. 
great man. So, just a good uh, attitude be... about things. Always got a smile on his face. Just uh, love it. I wish you guys could see closer like we could when he plays. His tongue's always <laughs> out. His teeth are always <laughs> flared. He's just out here to have a good time. Yeah. He, lo he loves what he does. Yep. So. Competing. Right? So this ball's being inbounded right now. Landon Miller's on defense on the ball. So happy you guys have joined us here at noblebears.tv. Feel free to connect with us on noblebears.tv on Facebook, Twitter, also on YouTube. We've got a trivia question up right now that we'd love to have a winner. We don't have a winner yet, Ball but, man, he drew, three, he threw that Isaiah. one down tail. Now, that's the sixth man right there for them. That, that is. He checked in early, and they're going to call Elmore for a travel uh, down on the baseline. It's going to be Jets ball just on the baseline. Six minutes, 11 seconds in the first quarter. The score is 5-3. to three. We're just getting started here at noblebears.tv in the den, so we thank you guys so much again for joining us. The lob is up. Oh, I thought I he was thought, just going to finish it in the air. Yeah. yeah, he he had his arms up Good real move. high, like he was going to shoot it and finish it. So nice block by Landon Miller to recover. He came over to help uh -huh. on defense just down the uh, middle of the lane, and then that pass was just thrown right behind him. He almost did a 180 and just put his hand out and got a piece of it. Gotcha. Good job by Landon Miller. Come down, Matthew, come down. Layups up. Great. Blocked by Logan, Logan Kirby. Kirby. Back Herbie, to back blocks man, that was a good Bears. block. It was really clean, too. I told you they would ease off a little yeah, bit on the calls super clean, and stuff, man. So, well, both those, were, both uh -oh. those were clean. Uh-oh. There's a walk. Now he throws the ball away. Yep. Luckily, Elmore, that's luckily, just really uncharacteristic. Helped. Very uncharacteristic. He normally does such a good job at protecting the basketball, and he's by, by far and away the best one on the team at protecting it. So, Logan, those will fall. He's screaming at himself that, hey, he's, yeah, you yeah. know, missed another one. He gives a hand clap and stuff. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Logan, yeah. Logan Kirby's quite the Oh, shooter, I like so. these two coming in. This is You talk about change of energy all of a sudden. Watch this. Yeah, you bring Brandon in Trevor and Harper. And Harper. Rock and roll. Trevor Watch Ward's this. Rock and roll. Anytime I've ever seen Brandon uh, come in to play, his energy level is so high. Here he goes. He's already yeah. got the rebound. He, he's ready to rock and roll. So passes it up to Wardrop. Who's getting double teamed? Look at him. Oh, Brandon, I, I thought, thought he was just going to pull it. One right. No, he couldn't give it to Fish down low, <laughs> yeah, and he's going to put it right too. in. Fish easy, too. Yeah. You know, he never comes in off the bench anyway, but when he does, oh, my goodness, yeah. the energy is high. It's high octane. Right. Wardrop's on defense. This is a kid I love to watch play. You know, and he's had such a good three-point shooting night against CCS. It just seems such unfair that it just um, – you know, we ended up getting beat and stuff. It just, he would have been by far and away the player of that game. Man. Yeah, he, he had quite a few points going on for him. Um, just kind of misfortunate. The misfortunate they couldn't miss. It wasn't like the Bears were playing terrible defense. Obviously, you have your bust and your uh, misplays. That was a good play right there sure. by, I think that was number two. That's going to be Anthony Simpson made a good play on that ball right there. Checking back into the game is Elmore for Logan Kirby, number 21. So Coach Bradley calls out a play. The Bears get set into formation. And the ball is caught up top by Trevor Wardrip. Ball is now to Brandon Harper. That's going to be a foul all day, just reaching across his face, trying to take the ball from him, caught contact with him, and that's going to be a foul right there on Western Heights. That's their fifth team foul already with just mm. four minutes and 40 seconds left in this game to play. Castillo comes back into the game, replaces number 14, Houston. Sorry about that. I almost call him Huston. But uh, Houston, here comes the Bears. Finds Miller in the corner. There he is. Hello, Landon Miller. Three points. You know, and that was all set up by Brandon driving the baseline. Yeah, great drive on the baseline. And then making that defender come out and guard him where it left Landon Miller open on the baseline where he likes to shoot the ball. Yeah, he does. That was his first shot of the night, and it went in. So up, and Austin Elmore. They're going to call a foul right there. I'm not sure who they called that on. I know there's a foul called on Western Heights. Austin Elmore's got a great following. Coach Bradley really gave him props because of he really changed the game in Elgin. We were It was a tight game. Oh, yeah. He catches the ball over on the left-hand side of the, of the gym. He sets up for a three-point shot and buries it. And Noble Total said, here we go. And uh, it changed the whole complexion of the game. So by yeah. far and away, Austin Elmore's best play of the year. 
Total, total momentum changer for Double Bears. Great steal by Landon Miller right there. Just brings in the big paw, doesn't he? Right. He was nice he was almost over. two yards behind him and just reached reached across and took it away. Wouldn't that be nice to see Landon Miller as a tight end for the Bears? Oh, absolutely packs one. Woo-hoo! Landon Miller with a big time block. Nice. Trevor, Trevor Wardrop with the lefty. Finishes it on the other side. Two points. Trevor Wardrop. Man, that, I can't even get over that. That was a great block right there by Landon Miller. So good looking shot too by number three. You know, tr just missed. Fisher's just blocking them out. That's what's what's the difference is right there. That's the I've watched him three times block out on the on the uh, in the paint, and he's able to knock everybody out of there and uh, get the rebound. And so yeah. he's going to get replaced though by. Elmore, and here comes Jake Williams, the starter, number five. Yep, and he's going to be checking out Miller. So there is going to be a timeout called. A very long first quarter, and we still got some time left. Um, we'll be back here in just a little bit at NoblaBears.tv. Phoenix can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorse works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging, works for T. Get started. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. It's no secret Pioneer Cellular cares about the students of our communities because we're in your communities with more retail locations than any other carrier in Western Oklahoma. It's no secret that we provide opportunities for students to learn remotely with distance learning plans and MiFi devices. We also help these schools live stream their games so family members across the country don't miss the action. We sponsor... We are back here at noblebears.tv. Three minutes, seven seconds left in the first period. I'm catching some word about a few things that uh, folks are saying, but hopefully it's up and going now. And if it is, there's definitely been a button that's been pushed, and uh, I apologize for uh, the late. Audio. Yeah, we're definitely not as technically inclined as David Rowden. And, um, He's normally the one that makes sure we're all on the track and everything, and we haven't talked to him in a while. So if there isn't any sound, you do have to apologize. <laughs> Let me Which check. I'm this. not sure you can hear my apology if there's no sound right now, <laughs> but um, if there is, I do apologize. So it seems like we're up and running. I think our sound's good. So that foul's on 33 Elmore, and this is going to be ball taken out Western Heights. Number 22 is going to pass it in. Sama, and he is going to find Simpson. That's a great dive after it right there by Elmore. Great hustle, just misses it. Another ball, baseline Western Heights. All right, now that we're up and going, here we go. Number two on the outside for Western Heights. Looks to make a move. Yeah, Simpson shoots, and Simpson misses, so... Ball's passed out, though. Alley you from the short corner. And Brandon Harper's got the rebound. Here comes the energy right here. Maybe a little kick out. Nope. We're going to hit the trailer. Nope. Yeah, gets, it, gets it taken from him. And Peyton Elmore rushes down. Makes him miss. Man, hustle points by Peyton Elmore. He was way behind and just zoomed down. So Bears now take it back up the floor. Uh, pass out. Pass just right by Peyton Elmore. Found Brandon Harper back to Trevor Wardrop. Drives it in, and that's going to be a blocking foul. They're going to call that on number five. They're going to call blocking foul on Castillo. That's going to be his first. So Trevor Wardrop is going to go to the line. That is six fouls right now for Western Heights with just a few minutes left in the first quarter. So Fisher, the king of charges, is going to check back in right now for the Noble Bears, and that checks out uh, Peyton Elmore. Peyton Elmore is coming in. All right, here we go. Good lineup in there for the Bears right now. Good yeah, shot right there by Trevor Wardrop. You can trust. Pressure comes for the Bears. 
Big time pass thrown up. Great Thanks, hustle Trevor. by Wardrop right Look there. Look at this pass. Yep, this pass. dishes it right up to Brandon Harper. Loses the ball, maintains it, and pass out to Jake Williams, who just misses. Man, Wardrop is hustling right now. Yeah, he is. Number five just can't get his stuff together, man. He just <laughs> threw something back out to the coach. I'm not sure if it was glasses yeah, or what it was. I don't know. That was another He's wearing a mask. There's Brandon Harper. Hello, Brandon Harper. Welcome Three points. to the Noble Bears. <laughs> Three points. Oh, I didn't like that foul. Yeah, they're going to call a foul on. Yeah, they're going to call it on Jake Williams for a push. It's going to be his first. Only two team fouls right now for the Noble Bears, which you got to like. So, checking in, Logan Kirby, Landon Miller, checking out, Trevor Wardrop, Jake Williams. So, this is a group I'm sure you've seen time and time again. 13 has it in the backcourt. I need to give a special thank you and shout out to Kate, who's watching NobleBears.tv program right now. She helped us out with a little bit of a... Uh, Hey, we're not getting any audio here. We need a little bit of help. Fisher Bout took a charge. <laughs> so we figured it out. Yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in, though. Ball's up top to Brandon. Pass to Elmore. He's going to fire. And oh, that thing was more than man. halfway down. It came yeah, out. Yeah, luckily he's got Fisher who grabbed a rebound, just couldn't finish it. Ball's being taken down the floor right now. Hard pass right there. Yeah, the ball is very spread out right now. Ball's dished a three-point line, and it is scored. Flash. That's number three, Isaiah. That's his second three-point. That ball was stolen and then stolen back. Kirby just crossed the guy onto, onto his belly. And Fish Colin for two. finishes it for two. That was, that was a great series of plays right there. Yep, good job by Colin Fisher making just yet another play. Elmore takes a look at three, sees the rims open. Kirby says, you know what, I want it. Fisher's, <laughs> someone, someone wants it. What ball rotation, man. That was awesome right there. That what did. ball rotation. It goes rotation. all the way around the horn with one yeah, second that left. Was, that was good stuff right there. Great job by Noble Bears um, being able to let's move the ball that fast. But. It was. Let's stay here for sure. Uh, you know, thank you so much again, you folks, for joining us. We have uh, a lot of people watching right now. Apologize for the delay in the audio, so do apologize for that. But you were able to watch the Bears, and we had all the video up. You know, this uh, Western Heights team that came in, one of the things I said that was the key to the game, or uh, Chili said was the key to the game as well, was that uh, the Bears had to get started and get started fast. And uh, the play that they're getting from Fisher has been pretty incredible down the stretch here. And, uh, and it's he's not been, been just today. It's been multiple games in a row. Time and time again, he does the little things right and just scores the ball when he has to. Right, so. right. He does indeed. And, uh, man, his, his game has really changed the uh, last couple of weeks. We're very happy to see that. And, of course, he's getting in the groove of basketball and, and probably just in time to pitch a couple of no-hitters. So. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? And I'm sure you're going to see more than one from him this year. So, <laughs> Man, having the band here is great. It's a good crowd behind us. Uh, Western Heights didn't bring a lot of people. They're pretty scattered out up there, doing definitely the social distancing, as, think, as you would. <laughs> I think in a gym at Western Heights, they would. A lot of those um, schools in Oklahoma City do social distancing oh, still, yeah. don't they? Oh, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Some of them are just returning to school right now. Right. Yeah. So I, the girls weeks. have played, what, four games? That's what I was told. Yeah. Yep. Four games. That's what, not very many. You yeah. heard your Middle Bears records at, what, nine and ten? Or was it eight and nine? Or just right there? Yeah. Look at that rebound. Wow, and knocked man. it in for two. That was a great play right there by Landon Miller. That was awesome. And if you had a chance to see that, I mean, he was so high above the rim on the rebound and the follow it back up. So You can't tell from the angle you guys see it at. Landon Miller was way above the rim. Well, from our angle, it was a beauty. That's for sure. Yeah, There's no great doubt job, about Landon it. Miller. He's a very, very good free throw shooter. He's just going to sit into it and finish the job. Oh, Three points, down. Landon Miller. I'll give another shout-out to the Noble High School wrestling team. The girls' wrestling team won in McLeod a couple of days ago. 
brought home a bunch of trophies individually and uh, then the whole entire team trophy. So good job, Noble High School Girls Wrestling Team. There's almost 21 girls on the team, Trevor. I didn't know that, man. That's, <laughs> that's a lot. That's, of that's awesome. Yeah. I, I didn't know that at all. Yeah. So. yeah. Well, I'm just full of knowledge. I'll just have you know that. Right. Yeah. Just uh, yeah. Mr. Know-it-all, yeah. huh? So I bet you couldn't. Um, I can tell I'm you who just shot that. Mitchell just shot that free throw and didn't touch nothing but net. Let's, Let's see if see. he can do it again. I was about <laughs> to say the same thing, and he. Oh. That one touches the rim, and he crosses the line a little too quick. It's going to be Noble Bear basketball. Oh, that was a. Uh, that was definitely a violation, huh? Yeah. Look at this. The pressure's on. All right, so hey, folks, noblebears.tv, there is a Facebook up, then a trivia question up that uh, asks you, who am I? And if you go to it right now, you can see that. There's a couple answers on, and at uh, halftime, I'll see if I can get an answer for you. You can tell Landon Miller wanted to take that one. Well, I should you maybe low. should have. It's into the pass. I like the way they hustled down the court. Yeah, Landon really. Miller, Western Heights got block. a lot of hustle in them. Yeah. Luckily, the Bears are covering really well right now, playing good defense. Now they've played more than four games, haven't they? Uh, I think so. Great jump shot right there by Brandon Harper. Nothing but net. Nothing total, but net. Total splash. Knocked it down right in the middle yep. of the lane. Gets he does steal. it again. Oh man, the almost the exact same spot. So Colin Fisher is going to clean him up. Colin him Fisher two. for two. Eight points for Fish. I love saying his name over and over. Yeah, man. Colin Fisher. Oh, oh, oh he helped him up. I, oh, I good job. He, good sportsmanship. Yeah. Oh, good job. I think when he blocked that, he caught some of his body. And yeah. Then that, uh, oh. Number thirteen. That would have to be uh, Robertson. He started to fly back and. Luckily, they helped him up and stuff, and he's all right. So, Number 13 again. Oh, just yeah. to the outside there. All right, who's checking into the game? Number 32? Checking into the game is number 32. That's going to be Man Patty. And then that checks out number, I think that's number 15 checking out. Yep. That's going to be Charles Mitchell. Yep. Mitchell's got a, he's got game for sure. Yeah, that ball's up, just missed. Colin Fisher with a rebound. How many rebounds has he had already tonight? Uh, Fish has got quite a few. He's got 12 or 13, so he, uh -oh. does, he does such a good job all over the floor. Hmm. Yeah, That's Kirby, good Kirby try, came good over finish. the top. All just right. um, When he went up, I don't think he caught a lot of body contact, but when your hand goes over the other player and they're trying to go upwards, I mean, more... For the most time, um, that's going to be called. So, Gotcha. Again, go to noblebears.tv on Facebook. There's some great trivia questions. They're sitting there waiting for you. Let me say it really quick while he's shooting this free throw after he gets done. Good shot right there. I attended Noble K-12. through I played the five and the guard. I averaged 12 points per game. My greatest win was against Carl Albert High School. Once in college, I was dominated as the player of the year. Most people would say I'm not a queen because I'm still playing the game I love. Who am I? Who am I? See, when you, when you say you're not a queen, that makes me think it's a guy. But they played point guard and center. Right. So That's crazy. You, I want to say that, right? Oh, here comes Elmore. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. <laughs> With the yeah, reverse Elmore. layup. Great job, number two. Elmore. Making it look easy, man. Sweet reverse I, layup. I love his play. Goodness gracious. He just, I just love it, man. Unselfish ball player right there. And when he gets his opportunity, he makes the most of him every time. Great job, Austin Elmore. Finds Brandon in the middle. He's going to take it right down the floor. Oh. You thought Elmore was going to shoot that I one, kinda too. I kind of did. I thought, well, it's a, is it a heat check right Definitely here? Definitely stepped into it. So he's going to take it right back up top, though, and set the offense. Six minutes, five seconds left in the second quarter. Landon Miller at the top of the key. A lot of pressure on him. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of hands pass flying down all over him. He doesn't care. Passes it up to Fisher. Two points. Colin Fisher has ten points. And he, uh, you know what? Last game, whenever they had to get it down low a bunch, he was right there for him, and then was putting in. A great steal. He's putting great in so steal. many. Let's see. Brandon Harper. Man, he tells all me all the time he wants to dunk it, and he's going to dunk it. Still haven't seen it yet. Hopefully he watches this. That was and knows. the safe. That was hey, the safe, too. I hope he knows. Watch I'm his charge. Oh, <laughs> baby, the king of charges, Colin Fisher. 
Wow, man. He's he, <laughs> every time he gets him every time. Every time. Man. Why don't fish like basketball? Why doesn't Fisher like basketball? No, why don't fish like basketball? Fish. Oh, like fish? I don't Why? Because they're scared of the nets. Oh, my gosh. This is my dad joke of the day. Oh, my gosh. That You didn't even dude, laugh. No. That was, man, that wasn't very good. That wasn't a good one. It wasn't? I've heard better. I've heard better. I, I got these for days. I can make you laugh. Where do fish, yeah. where do they go on vacation? Where do fish go on vacation? I don't know. Finland. <laughs> what kind of fish? <laughs> hey, what kind of fish to uh, eat mice? What kind? Of, oh, I could do this for days. You know? What kind this of fish? Dad joke what city. kind of fish eat mice? I don't know. I have. I have no Cat, idea. Catfish. <laughs> Get a catfish. <laughs> uh, have you ever seen a catfish? Well, of course. Uh, well, how does it hold the rod? <laughs> oh, you got me. <laughs> Oh, okay. Back to the game. Uh, Here we go. Yeah, oh, my got, goodness. No, yours were good. I just had to get you back. I can't believe you said that. That's you funny. know how old I felt saying that? <laughs> I think you got all those from me. You yeah, just remembered that, it. I'm pretty sure I did. So I, oh. felt, I felt like 40 years old right there. <laughs> I'm rubbing off yeah, on you. I know. <laughs> so Harper's called to the foul. That's going to be his first. Well, there's four minutes and 36. Eight seconds left in the second quarter. First half. Western Height Jets. They call play out of bounds. Little yeah, Brandon bounce. Harper's on defense. The shot is going to go up and oh, he's going to be off the, the backboard. Top of the backboard. Yep, Jake Williams is now going to take it down the floor. Goes behind his back very well. This kid is all pressure. over him. Yeah. Yeah, good steal. And uh, easy jump shot on the block. Jake goes ahead and takes it back. There was a lot of contact all over it man the entire way through so that should be a one and one right now western heights has nine fouls so jake williams is going to go to line to shoot a one and one okay i can't let it go on any longer we've got a couple of answers and they're pretty smart but uh kate and guy both got it they said the answer to the trivia question i tend to k through 12 i played five and guard which she did she averaged 12 points per game. That uh, She was nominated as the freshman player of the year in college. And she also is not a queen. She's a king. And that's drum Sarah roll. King. <laughs> Dude, you didn't drum roll it. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sarah, Sarah King. king. All man. right, good job. Yeah, very good job, Sarah very King. Good, so. good pressure by Brandon Harper over on the right side. Oh, he threw it right away. You know, it's just a lot of good hands going. This is what the Noble Bears need right here. Really see quick action, quick hands, you know, and still. yeah, lots of contact all over yeah. too. So yeah, and nothing's being called. They're it's, they're getting contact on people, and it's contact's com- being called on Western Heights, and none of it's being called. So it's coming too, you know, as far as uh, oh yeah, uh, good players, quick hands, and that's uh that's the teams that are coming in: El totally. Reno, Guthrie, Dell City, Carl Albert, you know, Shawnee. These are teams that are in Noble's future schedule. And these are uh, teams that they're going to have to get themselves ready for. Right. Well, your score is 34 to 10. Your Noble Bears are up by 24. High screen comes. Brandon Harper rolls off of it, goes to the paint, pulls a jump shot, says, just kidding. And he dished it to Mason. Trevor Wardrop. Oh, man, you can tell you one of the three points. You got to shoot that one, though. I know. Because you know, you're, you're on the elbow. You're, you're at the elbow. And it all turns around, and you get nothing out of it. And at least what we could have done is Trevor could have definitely pulled that one up. Got to call timeout on that one. Coach does it. He yeah, says, yeah, let's regroup little this run one. going on. Four-point run, six-point run. You just want to go ahead and shut it down before it starts. So, good job. Good job right there. Kind of just slowing things down, Coach Bradley. Um, the Noble Bears are still up plenty of points. Uh, 22 points, they're still up. But just there for a few seconds, it looked like the momentum was kind of flipping around and the script was flipping a little bit. So, good good time out by the Noble Bears. They didn't talk about much, I'm sure, in that huddle. They just said, hey, calm breath, take one, relax, catch your breath, you're ready to rock and roll. So, You know, Coach Bradley had a great comment or two about, you know, the future and uh, how much of a leader he believes in Brandon Harper. He really thinks that, you know, not only is he a leader of the team this year, but he is the leader of the future and uh, really wants to see him kind of exceed in that. 
And uh, yeah, that was kind of an errant pass by senior. Number three throws it out of bounds there, but uh, they had a little bit of pressure in his face as well. Yeah, throws up kind of a lob pass, and Mason Crawford just barely missed on his jump. So he was thinking a, maybe that was Landon over there. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't know. That'd be a tough one for Landon. So that was definitely a lob pass. Jump shot's up, and it is missed. Peyton oh. Elmore comes up with it. Grabbed on, too. Jake Williams is now taking it down the side. Decides to take it out. Finds Harper. Oh, Peyton Elmore, Peyton Elmore was not Elmore ready the, for that one. Yeah, man, and he was already was there, bad too. timing. He was looking at the ball, mm -hmm. turned away. Ball was on him. Yeah. So, can't ever take your eyes off the ball. Here comes the pressure. Trevor Ward yep. throws the ball, knocks off it on top. Off the player of Western say. Heights, just off the head. Checking back in is Fisher and Miller. I like this They'll kid be, number two that's coming in for the for the Jets, uh, Simpson. He's he, he's a baller, man. Yeah, he's a baller. Quick. So he's, he's quick, isn't he? He's been making an impact this entire game. <laughs> yeah. So. yeah. Making it definitely harder for Brandon Harper and Austin Elmore to take care of the ball. He's all up in their grill, playing great defense. Austin Elmore, he knocked down a big time shot in the in the tournament, and he yeah. comes right in in this game and knocks one down from the elbow. Yeah, great jump shot right there. He changed the game whenever we were playing against uh, Elgin. Oh yeah, he came over on the left hand side and knocked down a three. Oh my goodness, the whole game at the end of it changed. And here you go, Simpson, just like I said, comes right in, puts all the pressure on the defense, and comes right back and knocks it out. He hits quick. Yeah, you can't. That kid is flying around, man. Absolutely flying around the floor right now. He, he definitely is a young man too. There seems to be a warning on the Western Heights sideline. Okay, and it's really clear right there on our video screen too. You yeah, can see him pretty animated right now. Yeah. So Trevor Wardrop's inbounding the ball. You can't blame your coach. He's, he, he wants the boys to compete hard. He's going to push hard. Yeah, and they're going to call a travel right there on number three, Isaiah Atlas. They're going to bring the way and go on a full court press now. Yep, Trevor Wardrop's checked out. Mason Crawford's checked in. Colin Fisher finally steps out of bounds. We're waiting on everybody. And ball's inbounded with some ease, so... Balls to Elmore. He's going to take a shot Is at Is that the three-point lane that he was yeah, in? Yeah, that oh. was the three-point line he was on. Oh, dang. That foul was on two. Mason Crawford, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, and that should put Western Heights in the bonus with a minute 45 left. No, he, did, he called that on Elmore. They did? Yeah, I said so two. So Austin Elmore picks up a foul. And this is going to put 13 Malachi Robertson to the line for a one-on-one. -on -one. Good job, Mr. Unger. You answered the question correctly online. It must have been a too easy of one. Yeah, we'll have you to know? think of something harder than yeah, that. Yeah, but so. you know, when we had in the football trivia, we had Randy Kersey, and he was like knocking them back from like 1950, 1940. Yeah, it was like, how can you? I don't. Whoa, that kid snuck yeah. that ball right out from underneath him. Yeah, and that's a, that's a foul on Fisher. Got his body just a little too close. Mm. Then it's going to be two free throws going up. Colin Fisher is going to pick up a foul. My goodness, he was fast to that. Yeah, you know, very just fast. A little public notice here in Cleveland County, just to let you guys know, I know there's several thousand people watching right now. Here in Cleveland County, we're underneath a burn ban. You've got 14 days from January 14th. No campfires, no grills, no nothing outside that could spark a flame. Uh, it's been pretty dry outside. I know it feels cold tonight. Hopefully we don't get any snow and ice, but uh, 14 days from right now. So, Yeah, I mentioned that too. That's a bad Wait, job by the Noble Bears. That's really bad. Someone's got to block out the shooter. Mistakes happen though. They totally do. okay. Yeah, double team comes. Great job by Landon Miller to get it out of there. A lot of pressure from everywhere. He's just going to sneak it into Fisher. <laughs> Two points for Colin Fisher. That's a guy you can rely on. You sure can. <laughs> yeah, he's got six points in both quarters. So, uh oh, uh oh, somebody yep. help him. No, somebody help almost, him. Did they catch him? A big okay. time save. Whew. And a step back three. Let's go. Just let's, go. let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, dang! Here comes three. Yeah, that's How a, fast as this kid. Yeah, a lot of wow. contact. A lot of contact being played wow. with right now. <laughs> Whoa. And that pass is thrown over the head. And that is going to be Noble Bear basketball. So Brandon Harper's checked out. Joey Bear is checked into the basketball game. All right. JB is ready to play. 
So 50 seconds left in the second quarter. Your score is 38 to 14. You guys be sure and stay tuned at halftime. The Noble Palm is going to perform. Yeah, you got to watch those girls. They just did a performance during the girls' game, and it was awesome. Yep, and they're going to probably do the same one here in the boys' game, yep. but my goodness, it's worth watching a second time. Yeah, that was good stuff. Yep, feels like I'm at a L.A. Laker game or something. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I've ever been to an L.A. Laker I don't, game. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't know. If, I haven't. I've got, I got some brothers that live in the area. Yeah, great but, save. Uh, Joey Bear right there. I'm thinking Elmore's going to try and hold on to it for a second. He's got a count. Right, you got to be careful with this guy on and you. Yeah, they're going to call Ooh. a foul on that. So When that guy's on you, you got to be ready. Yeah. Well, both number two and number three are lightning fast. Yeah, very fast. So a lot of kind of just hands over. Not super, super hard contact, just... Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a hand check. You can't have your hands inside of someone's chest area. Right. Not allow them to dribble the basketball. So, well, good call by the refs right there. And this will be two shots now for Austin Elmore. That was a foul, not a shooting foul, but um, that is going to be two shots for Austin Elmore. It's good to see Joey Barry, and he got quite a bit of JV time as well. So, it's good that he's in here to get a chance to play. Check it out. It's number three, Allstott. And checking into the game is number 10 for the... Jets, and that's Curry. That's uh, Stevens brother, Stephen brothers. <laughs> Stephen brothers. Maybe not. Maybe not. Liam. Liam. Curry. Liam Curry. All right. Maybe that's the so cousin. There's a, there's a free throw by Elmore. There's just a few seconds left. There's six seconds left. Big lob pass up. Okay, let's see this last second shot. Come on, make this Two one. Two seconds, one seconds, it's up. Oh, just I always short. like to see a last second shot. Just <laughs> short. That was a good run at it. Well, we'll come right back, and then we'll show the Noble High School Palm as they perform uh, their dance routine. It's a good one. You guys be sure and come back and watch it. In colleges because your children deserve the best. Pioneer Cellular. It's no secret. Oklahoma's number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples, Nicks, and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help.
Told you guys that was just like watching the L.A. Lakers <laughs> halftime performance. Those girls are good. So glad that they are on our side. They make us look great. We've got the true blue band here, which I know they don't like that, but that's the only thing I know them as. And they've also um, got a nice crowd here in the den. We've got uh, great participation all the way around, good fans. And we've got thousands of people watching right now on noblebears.tv. We thank you guys so much for being a part of the program and thank you so much for being here we have five minutes and 40 seconds left of halftime uh, your bears are up 39 to 14 it is um it's quite the i wouldn't necessarily say it's a beat down to this point so the yeah. bears are the bears are up by 30 or i think it's yeah about 30 points and um I don't know. I definitely wouldn't call it a beat down for sure. So Western Heights is playing well, just haven't scored the ball very well. And then um, they've been very fast defensively. Yeah, they really have. Those, so, guard, those guards are really something to watch, and, man. And I'll tell you, Austin Elmore and Brandon Harper, some of the best guards in the state when it comes to taking care of the ball. Yeah. Obviously, they had their turnovers, but um, not like tonight. They've snuck up behind them even to get a lot of those tips and the tips away and stuff. I'm pretty impressed with their guard play, man. Yeah. I really am. Which, that's also a problem for the Double Bears. Luckily, you get games like this to see that and fix that because yeah. as a teammate, if you see someone sneaking up behind your guy, um, you yeah. gotta yell wolf. Yeah, a wolf is yep. the call. Yep, wolf, 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 wolf. Ah. And then once wolf's called, you know someone's behind you I, and you can at least be aware. So I heard you say that the other day and I was like, I wonder what you're saying. And then that's what it was. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Someone come, someone like stalking you, like yeah. a wolf. Oh, like a wolf I got you. He's coming yeah, up yeah, behind yeah. you. Oh, I got you. Good job. So man. that's the that's okay. term used to uh, kind of take care of that and make sure you know where everything's at. So, Well, it looks like there's about four minutes. Everybody's still in the locker room. Here comes Western Heights. They're going to come out and shoot. Oh, and the Noble Bears come out the exact same time, led by Joey Bear, and the rest of the Bears are behind them. You know, that's a pretty cool name if you think about it. Number 14, Joey Bear for the Bears. It just flows, kind of. There was one name we saw the other day. I'm actually about to give it to you. You're going to look again. it up again? Okay. In but just a second. Yeah, well, Joey Bear for the Bears. is That's pretty cool, man. Yeah. And, you know, he comes from the Bears family. Man, there's one I'm trying to think of. Yeah, being being a noble bear, your last name's Bear. Yeah. That's that's pretty good. Hey, how about his dad, man? Is he a solid guy? Oh, bear. my gosh. Yeah. What yeah, a, by far, by far and away. Every day I see him, and I just always talk to him, say hi to him. Super duper great guy. Yeah. So he, he definitely is the the hardest working man I know. He does a great job. So. I don't know if you guys can see in the video, but Mama's up there playing the trumpet right now. She's leading the pack right behind the drum, and of course that's uh, she's been with the program for a long time, and so we thank you, Mrs. Bear, for everything you do for us. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Hey. Yep. This is the name I found. Okay. This definitely isn't the name I'm thinking of. Okay. But you found one. I've, I've been looking through and I've seen some cool ones, so I'm about to spit them to you. All right. Uh, Derek Molenauer. You know, that so was a Duncan was, kid. No, Little Axe. Little oh, Axe. He played, okay. he played for okay. Little Axe. I will. That's actually the next page I was going to was Duncan. So let me, let me slide back here a little bit. Um, let's go back just a little bit farther. We should be close. Be sure you guys do talk about these things coming up. Oh, yeah, here in just um, probably the fourth quarter, we're so excited to run down some of the spring sports with you and um, let you know what's the future of Noble. Oh, so okay. basketball season's not forever. I didn't, uh, I didn't want you to miss it. I thought right, maybe you right. might be waiting for halftime to do it. So, okay. But, um, no, I think um, basketball is kind of coming to an end, I guess. Like, it's, like we're in the stride of season, but when you think about it, the stride's not for long. Yeah. It's, if, if it was a work week, we would be at about maybe the back part of Wednesday. It'd be like the morning of Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Morning, afternoon of Wednesday, almost getting off work. So that's kind of what the season is like right now. It's fast, isn't it? Yeah, basketball is very fast. I think having Christmas break right in the middle does not help that. So you start before Christmas break, and then you take a big old break. So it feels like a brand new season. And then you have to start again, and then you yeah. – uh, and keep going. And football season's already over with. Well, not quite. We got four teams left, the Rams and the 49ers and the Bengals in Kansas City. All right. Super hey. Bowl's on the 13th. You know, that's the uh, fo our football, high school football banquet night. 
is on the oh, 13th. I did. I actually wasn't thinking of that. The Noble Bears will have a football banquet on February the 13th. If you didn't know the date that was rescheduled to, that is now the new date. So yeah, make sure yeah. you put it in your calendar. How I about... Go ahead. I gotta ask you. Sure. Who do you have? Rams versus 49ers. What's kind of the score prediction for well, you? Well, the 49ers own the Rams, but I could never, never in my all my life ever root for the 49ers. And so, Chad Hudson, your 49ers oh, are going down. The Chad. Rams, the Rams, and you know, let's just go with Joe Mixon and the Bengals uh, to uh, upset Kansas City, and that would be a Freaky hey, deal. But I am I am on happen. the same page as you. I think the Bengals are really, really man, they got it going on right now, I'll tell you. Let um, me ask you, what do you think about all the players from Oklahoma that are in the final four games? Can you name off a few of them? Well, I know Joe Mixon, you yeah. just said his name. Uh Samaj P. Ryan's one. Uh-huh. Let's see. Um Creed Humphrey with the Chiefs. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's great seeing him play, yep. right? From Shawnee. Uh-huh. And then Another Trent Williams. Yeah, that's another one. Yep, yep. How about Tyreek Hill? Oh, that's exactly right. Yeah, OSU. Man, though. I was, OSU when, I, when I said Trent Williams, it made like the T reminded me Tyreek Hill went to OSU. So. Hey, here's one for you, James Winchester, the long snapper for uh, Kansas City. I, I wouldn't know that one. Isn't that something? Yeah, that's yeah. Cool. He's from Washington High School. Guess how much the long snapper makes for Kansas City? How much? Nine hundred and ninety thousand dollars is his annual contract. Nine hundred and ninety thousand dollars to long snap. Wow. Hey, w- one last one before we get started. George Kittle. Figure that one out, everybody. Where did did he go to school at OU or No, he didn't go to OU. He didn't go to OSU either, did he? He go to Tulsa? Keep thinking, folks. Anybody know the answer to this one? I really don't know. You don't know. Yeah. But was he it actually two school? He or? actually was a high school student at Norman High School. Oh, wow. Oh, I didn't know that yeah. at all. The Kittle family and Bob Stoops family are really good friends. So. Man, I didn't know that at all. Oh, actually. Brandon threw it away right there. I thought he would have. Yeah, you gone. can tell he's frustrated about that one. Good hands. Number 13 knocks it in. That's yep, two uh, points 39, for, 16. Two points right there for, you have to excuse me, my sheets are completely off. There he goes, fish all the way to the rack. Oh, man, that was a strong. Rebounded by Miller. Brandon Harper's going to take a shot. Just misses. Fisher's getting just absolutely raked on down there. Yep. They're going to call that on 15, so. Let me ask you this other thing, and this has been pretty controversial, Trevor. What do you think about the overtime rule in in pro football really quick? Mm. The, I mean, really. you got to think it's drawn out well, but at the same time, uh, you really think about that. It's a huge controversy with the Bills. Yeah, the Bills in Kansas City. Yeah, the Bills didn't because, even get to touch the ball. That Josh last. Allen almost played a perfect, perfect offensive game again. But yeah. he did against the Patriots and almost did it again against the Chiefs. I think he maybe had one possession or two that you know, didn't go the way he wanted. Yet he didn't get. He left 37 seconds. Was that cor- is that correct? No, 13 seconds. Thir- excuse, I don't know why I said 13, 13, 13 seconds. seconds left. And he, he sealed the deal. He was like, you know what? I just won our team the football game. And then not only did the Chiefs just score, they won the, they won the coin toss, and then Josh Allen never well, now, touched now the field Josh game. Allen was the one that called that. So the only thing he lost at all night long other than the game, of course, is the coin toss. So he, he's the one that called it out. He was the only captain for the team, and he called tails, and it was heads. Dang it. I know. T- tails never fails, man. I never liked this OT rule, though, because yeah. the Bills never got a chance to touch the ball again. Yeah. To, Here we go. Yeah, to me, that's not – I don't feel like that's fair to anybody, and if it was vice versa. Right, if, right. If Josh Allen touched the ball and Patrick Mahomes the greatest – they got to change. Well, it. hold my tongue there. One of the greatest quarterbacks in the NFL um, <laughs> didn't get the chance to touch the football. I mean, come on. You know what I'm saying? Here we go. Brandon Harper at the top of the key is looking around. Let's get his offense started. There's there looks like they're in a man. Landon Miller says, "I'll take it from the outside." You know what I really think they could do? I really think they could make it. Oh, nice job, Logan Kirby, to get his feet set just off the spin move. Used his shoulder while he was spinning to bump into Kirby. Kirby set his feet, took the charge. Noble Bear basketball. All right, we're going to get things going here. There's only been two points scored in the half. I mean, so far. 
Yeah, l luckily, while we were talking about overtime rules and some football, we're <laughs> yeah, definitely right. not in football season anymore exactly, <laughs> especially high school football or college football or anything like that. So I well, guess we finished that pretty good timing. I think a lot of people feel the same way you do about the OT and all those things, man. I mean, I think a lot of people do. So good job, Landon Miller. Yeah, great Landon job, Miller. Landon Miller. Give Adam, that great one up hustle him. play right there. Colin Fisher just cleaned it up. But you got to give the credit to Miller right there. And they come right back down and miss the two. They had a wide open one. Yep, Elmore's got it up top. Miller has it. Ooh. Fisher is pushed. And that foul is going to be on number five right there, Bruce Cassetto. So Elmore is going to have the ball out of bounds. There's four bears on the left side of the court. Ball's passed into Brandon. He shoots. He misses. That was a good look by Brandon Harper right there. Just couldn't finish. Landon's going to try it. Just misses. Great tip. Oh, great Kirby, tip, though. Kirby loses it. Luckily, Landon's got his back. <laughs> nice pass over there to Elmore if he catches it. Elmore, Elmore hurries over there, though. Luckily, the ball's saved, and it's just taken out like it's a new play. So. Fisher nice has pass. it. Oh. Big-time roll. A lot of ball movement. Man, they're just finding Fisher down there easy as can be. He's making himself available for uh, sure. He's yeah. finding the open hole there. Yeah, great job by the guards as well, too, just to nice pass uh, force pass. pressure to come to them. Yeah. So in the ball rotation that's being moved around, Fisher, once Fisher touches it, he dishes it right back out. The ball's rotated back into Fisher. Ball's rotated. It's a good Looks job. Looks like number right 32 is going to check into the game. Yeah, for, that's going to be that's going to be man Patey. Patey. I believe I believe that's correct. If I if I totally just bomb a pronunciation, I'm sorry. So Miller's got it, just loses it, and the ball is passed up. It's a one on one right now. Good play. Yep, Number good 13. play. Brandon good Harper didn't contact. want to pick up a cheap one, just put his hands sure. up and he stepped just across the lane. That was a good job. Yep. Kirby's gonna go to the lane and he's gonna get two shots at the free throw line. It was a pass over there to Fisher, though. So yep. I guess they're not going to call it a they're not going to call it a shooting because he did end up oh, passing okay. the ball. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It kind of looked like he was going to try a layup, yeah. and if he would have it went for that, he would have definitely been on the free throw line right now. Who's Elmore got the ball? shoots. Come on, Boom, Elmore baby. scores. That's good job right there, Austin Elmore. So and nice because he shot that same uh -oh. shot and that same sweet stroke over and over again, and it's nice to get one to fall. So They're going to start falling. They're going to start falling for him. You know, this is his sport. This is the thing that he does all year long. And, he's, uh, no, uh, false. He's actually a soccer player. Oh, soccer he, player, he too. He plays soccer. He That's actually hilarious. hasn't played basketball up until this year. Like, he played um, kind of your middle school, your peewee, but he, and I believe he played freshman year. Okay. But then he hasn't played since, so gotcha. it's nice to have. He's um, been on the uh, soccer field, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yep. Brandon Harper, and Brandon Harper, that one now. And one. You know, I love the way he did the layup. He brings it way out to the right, and then comes in off the glass uh, like that. I'm sure he could have made that less hard on himself. I I know he could have because that was cool. There's no way it was that cool and that easy. That was a good job, Brandon Harper, just making it look flush. He shoots it and knocks it in with ease. Are they? I was about to say. I was like, why are they making him shoot another one? <laughs> he would have if they uh, threw the ball yeah, back to him, right? A, and if I were him, I wouldn't oh, have shot it on Landon the Miller free throw line. I would have went ahead and shot it um, like a layup. If they would have, if they would have given it to me, I would have shot it as a layup. So. <laughs> Brandon's yeah. got great balance. He had like three feet in between yeah, I know. his. He just keeps going. So yeah. way to go. Oh, this well, ball's oh, going to be inbounded right now. By oh, Simpson. so it was a turnover by yes. us. Yes. Okay, yes. all right. A, it was a turnover call. Uh-oh. So the ball is dished to the wing. And uh, almost a shot from downtown. That, <laughs> that ball was taken a little high right there. I'm not sure if you guys saw that. Definitely over the head. Boom. Oh. Man, I thought he was going to knock that one down. Uh-oh. Those balls the passed to the, to the bench. They pass it right back in and look to score. <laughs> it's going to be Noble Bear basketball. Side out. Fisher takes it out. Looks like he needs a little bit of help here. There's a lot of pressure already on Elmore. Yep, the Bears have extended to a 28-point lead. The ball is to Harper. A two-pointer right here puts them up in the 30s. 
Uh oh, Fisher, Fisher not even yeah, looking. Just setting a screen for Landon to come across. Landon was a little late and um, just some miscommunication right there. So two, two points missed, and they're going to call a foul on Landon Miller, but it, it is on the floor. So that foul is going to be on Miller, and this ball is going to be taken baseline out by number 22. That is Sama. Rohi Sama will be taking it out. I like saying that name. You got to say it Rohi the right way, though. Rohi Sama. You can't say it, like, blandly. Okay. Like, you know, like, Rohi Sama. Yeah. No, 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 no. It's got to be said, Rohi Sama. Like, it, it, per, uh, sharp pronunciation. Ball's dished in. Who who got the foul there? Number, uh, I think they called it right back on Landon Miller. So okay, so still not close to the bonus. Still got about four fouls too. Your Noble Bears are up um, by 31 points here. And a steal by the Bears should put them at 33. Oh, ball is um, out of bounds. Uh oh. Sorry about yeah, that. Yeah, lost a lost a cap there. There we go. Two minutes, forty four seconds left in the third quarter, and yep, the ball is past uh, Brandon, <laughs> and he's it. gonna get two free throws at it. Yeah, he went right to the body and got that, a foul. That so pass from that pass from the baseline was passed just to the sideline, and the player running over there had to run really hard to go catch it. Gotcha. It um, just got caught up. There was no way he could stop like that while being able to get to the ball. So, Brandon Harper's going to. Sit into one and just miss short. Brandon Harper just misses his first one. He's going to reset, give some high fives here. Take himself a deep breath. We'll go through the whole process here. Look at the ball. Spin the ball. One dribble. Catch and shoot. He makes it easy. 32 points up. Yeah, he, does, he, doesn't do, he doesn't do any of the fancy extra spins. He takes a spin and a bounce and... Is, is ready good, to go from there. Yeah, good press breaker. Yeah, good ball movement right there. There's a way to get out of it. Kirby's dribbling the ball down the floor. Pass to... Oh, a little high. A little yeah, high. Yep, yeah, a little high. You can tell the pressure is starting to get to the Noble Bears. So they're definitely bringing it. They're going to switch everybody yeah, here out. Here comes an entirely new group. Jake Williams, Trevor Wardrop, Peyton Elmore, Joey Bear, Mason Crawford are now your five in playing. That'll be really different because, you know, they've been sitting on the bench here on the third quarter, and then them coming into the game, they're just really fresh, ready to go. Yeah, yeah we'll see if they can heat it up right away, just like number three did right there. Put that Isaiah three right in the spot. eye. Yeah, knocked it down. His first three of the quarter. Joey Bear gets into the paint. Yep, goes ahead and makes Lots a play right there. behind him. And they, they call him a foul of some sort. On 14, it looks yeah, like, and Joey Bear as well. He got into the paint, got in trouble there, and he was like, okay, I can't dish it to anybody. Yeah. Get in here. So, as ball's taken out by Western Heights, the Bears are backing up, ready to play defense. Good play by number three right there, Isaiah. So the ball is going to be dribbled in the backcourt, starting to be taken up the floor. Passes to the wing, right back to the corner. He, You know he wants to shoot it. You know, he must... Uh, he was really hot there for a second. He hit that one at the top of the key, and he's going to see if he can do it yeah, again. Yeah, made a good defensive play. He was just ready to rock and roll. So Jumper Jake Williams Jake. goes ahead and gets up. Yep, great back cut by Jake Williams and just misses. That was a, that was a great back cut. That should be a travel. Uh, they're going to call a jump ball this time. So the ref is doing some talking here. It should be Noble Bear basketball, if I'm not mistaken. It's Noble Bear basketball yep, Noble down Bear, on the baseline. Noble Bear basketball. So Peyton Elmore is going to take this ball on the baseline, and got, the Bears are going to set up in a box. You guys be sure and tune in on Friday. We've got a game against Guthrie right here in the den. Bring Looking the forward Blue Jays to into town. Yep, Blue Jays, another 5A team coming into town. And they are uh, they're a tough team, so we're looking forward to some good competition. It will not only be the high school boys and girls, but it will also be the JV girls and boys and uh, be quite a matchup. Trevor Wardrop. With yeah, just missed a short corner, knew he missed it, so he went and grabbed the rebound, and then uh, now he's going to the line for two points here. All right. Coach Bradley 
gets Elmore back over here, gives him some education, some things to work on, and and that's he's that's always the coaching. Stuff, that's the stuff you really like in games like this is to be coached. Oh yeah, because yeah, the Bears are up by almost thirty points, but at the same time, you still have to get better. Yeah, every day because you got the Blue Jays coming into town. <laughs> there, I mean, you're exactly right. So I think we are ranked higher than them. Our record's a little better. But at the same time, there's no telling who they've played to this point. Mason Harper, count it. No, Mason Crawford, count Mason, it. Number Mason Crawford, 24. excuse me, count it. For two. That's just a hustle play. He yeah, just great. hustled to get yeah. over there just more than the other kid did. And that's something That's something we haven't seen a ton of. Uh, Western Heights has been really, really, really hustling around the floor tonight. Haven't, then, haven't made a bunch of shots, out. but at the same time, uh, done a good job, so. So number 22. Yeah, number 22 is done for the night. That's Rohi Sama. He's going to pick up his fifth foul. That's your, that's your guy. I know. I'm sure I'll, I'll find a way to say his name. One more time. <laughs> I'll, be like, I'll be like, man, a great job tonight by Rohi Sama. And then you'll be like, who's that? He's not on the floor. And I'll be like, yeah, you know. I'll be like, he did a good job. <laughs> I'll, I'll, find, I'll find a way. Okay. All right. Mason Crawford shoots and makes the three points. Knocks it down. Your Bears now up 31. Uh oh. Good defense by Joey Bear. Big time pass way up in the air. Trevor Wardrip plays just like a wide receiver, goes and gets it, and has the footwork of a Big ballerina. Jake. Three, baby. Yep, knock it down, Jake Williams. Great play by Jake Williams right there. And an even better job by Trevor Wardrop in the backcourt. That's a response right there. Robertson goes ahead and knocks down a three of his own. He says, you know what? You guys don't get to have all the fun. My turn. Yep, Peyton Elmore's got it. Makes a skip pass, Trevor Wardrop. And he is fouled right there by Robertson. So he is going to go to the line for two. And that is going to be the third foul on Malachi Robertson. All right. It I'm should put Trevor Wardrop to the. Oh, we didn't. Yeah, we don't keep him. It's. Um... Sorry, we were talking to Coach right there. Yeah, he came in and asked about how many a certain player had. And I guess he saw your book. The, that's, was yeah, that, he like, saw the many... book I keep stats with and stuff. Mm. Um, it's funny, man, when these players all come over here and, like, we get asked. I had one of the scores for Western Heights just ask me. Um, Another question about the book, and I was like, "Ma'am, I don't know." I was like, "I can't give you an exact answer because I don't." <laughs> I, I, know. I try and keep up, man. It's hard. It's, it, oh, yeah. I'm not the greatest multitasker. This, this is not your yep. responsibility good, to do. That, good hop though. step, though. You're just helping out the broadcast and stuff, and you know the coaches need to have their own own people yeah. do their stats. Nice pass by Trevor Wardrip. Oh, Joey Bear. Just yeah, Joey <laughs> Bear was tugged on a little bit. It's all right, though. Not a lot of fouls have been called in this game, so Joey Bear's got to know that, and he's got to just yeah, keep going. be he, physical. He has to play a little more physical than that. Well, so Sophomore, you know? Yeah, sophomore it's good body. for him to see yeah. something oh, like this. It's, so it's tough. Yeah. You get yeah. tugged on and yeah. pulled at and stuff like that. It's good to see that. So, The quote of the week, life is like a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep going. Yeah, very good. Yeah. So keep on going, Joey Barrier. You'll be there before you know it. He's got a couple more years to go. Well, he is a sophomore. We are halfway there. And yeah. it's half through the year, so I guess we're close. I don't yeah. know. I go halfway of halfways. That's a Trey Roberts uh, napkin writing. And a lot of people, oh, my goodness, Mason Crawford with a throwback with seconds left on the clock. Nicely done. Say, say heating up. Heating yeah, up, yeah. Huh? Mason Crawford is starting to get warm, so he scored quite a few in that quarter. So we're going to be back here in just a few minutes, take the quarter with them. We'll be back here at NobleBears.tv. Go Bears. Hey, guys, Nathan, Nathan's Automotive, proud supporter of Noble Athletics. We work on all makes and models specializing in diesel engine repairs. I'm so proud to show our support for the Noble Public Schools through our unique auto repairs for Bears program. Bring your car in for maintenance or repair and drop those repair receipts off at any school campus and Nathan's will give back 5% of the totals to the Noble Public School Systems. We're looking forward to serving you for all your automotive needs. Go Bears! Go Bears is right. Nathan Automotives could not say it better. Your score is 60-26. to 26. Noble Bears up. Did you turn Coming in that the uh, oil 
Uh, change did, receipt. Hey, if you guys don't know, and if you weren't watching the commercial just seconds ago, if you are to get something in Nathan's Automotive, they give back to the school. So all you need is a receipt from there saying, hey, I purchased an oil change, and I got my oil changed at Nathan's Automotive. Yeah. And they'll give money back to the school. That's a pretty good deal, yeah, right? Yeah, it's a great deal, yeah. especially... Or so you did of, drop off that receipt? Yes, I went into Nathan's Automotive yeah. myself, okay. and I'll make sure the school gets money back for my good. purchase of an oil change. Good, good, good. So you guys be sure and do the same thing. Thank you, Crimson Electric, who supported NobleBears.tv during football season, during basketball season, as well as baseball season coming up. I'm not sure if we're going to have this broadcast for track. I mean, uh, not, not only for track, but also golf. And then what's another sport? Baseball, we are going to have it. Yeah. Um, but uh, I'm not sure about soccer. We don't have a broadcast announcer for soccer. And so uh, not sure if we're going to do this for soccer or not. Yeah, but, I, uh, I we'll hate see. this. I didn't really get a lot of information on either soccer teams. So yeah. I've, I've really wanted to talk about the spring sports. I think we'll have to save soccer for another time. Yeah. Uh, I want to talk to head coach uh, Joe Rohr okay. and to other head coach uh, Cassie Bird. I want to make sure I talk to them to – uh, Coach Roar and Coach Bird, and make sure I have all the right information. Logan, Logan Kirby, Kirby three points from outside. Nice. I hate to cut myself off there, but yeah, I will tell you guys a little bit about some of the other spring sports that I did get the chance to talk to some of the coaches and to kind of kind of know a few things before I told you guys about it. And I'm thinking we're going to start off with girls track here. So they are coached by Coach Phillips, and something they're really looking forward to is this year's four by eight relay. They were third in the state last year, and they have three of them returning in the 4 by 8 Nice. Which is what they, I mean, they did really well in that last year. Obviously, being third place in the state through all of 5A is quite a big accomplishment. So some of those girls on that team were Erica Pena. Um, and also, she has a full-ride scholarship to run track at ECU. Oh, she, you know, yeah. she's quite a, uh, she's an all-stater in. Uh, in, in track. In track, well, in, uh, oh my goodness, cross country. Oh, I didn't know that, actually, in cross country. So, hey, congratulations to Erica Pena. I didn't know that at all, so that's really she great. Was our only, yeah. uh, she was our state qualifier. She came in, like, third. At the I think they're going to call finals. that one on the floor. Um, I think they're going to call it on number one. Landon Miller maybe going uh, – they're going to call it. Logan – or, I'm sorry, Landon Miller uh, got to the lane for two, and he's going to go try and finish it with an and one. Anyways, back to what I was saying. So following up the 4x8 team, you know these two girls. It's the Hickok sisters, Autumn and Leah. They're really looking to make a big difference in this year's 4x8 and be able to win it this year. So another race that they ran was the 4x400, and that was seventh in the state last year. That's a good thing. And I'll tell you, a basketball player coming to run track with Coach Phillips. You want to take a guess at somebody? Um, Kinsey Hickey. That would be a good one. That's who Phillips needs to recruit, man. She could run like the 100. She's quick. But, um, no, Landry George. Okay, good. Yeah, Landry George is coming to run as well as Taryn Cottrell. She's going to do the high jump, I believe. Oh, well, that'll be a good one. Yeah, that'll be really good. And so another, another person, a uh, big shout-out to this person, is Emma Neighbors. So she's a really strong mid-runner is what Coach Phillips was saying. And not only she's been working really hard all this off season, and she's going to be running the two-mile, hopefully make state again. She was a freshman last year and made state, which is really cool, and she's looking to just totally repeat. So okay. for, boy, for boys track, um, the event to win at and go to state with this year is going to be the mile relay, and that involves Braylon Freeman. Yeah, he's good. One guy you see right there, Brandon Harper, who just got shoved by... Number one, Fuller. That was kind of good timing. So hopefully hopefully the refs see that and make sure um, Fuller doesn't push on Brandon too much. Next is LT Taylor. He's going to be coming back from injury, which is really nice. And they all got to run 400s, huh? Yep. And then another, or 100s. Wait, no, yeah, 400s. 400s in the mile relay. I thought I said the 4x4. Four four. But um, another guy who is not on the floor right now but is on the bench is Trevor Wardrop. He's going to be running in the 4x4 four four as well. Or the, um, I guess the mile relay. Golly, I'm sorry, guys. Another shout-out wanted to give was to Luke Conley. He went to state, and he threw discus as a junior, which is awesome. It's great to always have anybody go to state, so that's really cool. Adrian Villanueva, 
Hopeful comeback. He was quite the football player, quite a safety. Nice alley-oop pass. Yeah, big-time alley-oop. Quite the safety, but um, happened to have an injury during football season, so he's hopeful to return for track season, which will be really exciting because he's a really strong runner. So Logan Kirby finishes two. Next thing about the boys' track team, Braylon Freeman is looking to break his five-minute open mile time, which is really cool. And big shout-out to the football team because there's a lot of first-year guys that are going to be running. So, All right. Thanks for that update. All right, so here we go. There's Austin Elmore with the ball back at half court. Looks like they're going to replace a lot of the Bears. They, uh, uh, they're going to do a full rotation. Oh, Landon now. Miller was ready to throw down. Golly. I think it was a little body check right there. They didn't quite get the ball, but uh, they definitely got the body on him. Knocked him to the ground. Here comes, oh, and quite Oh, that's his fifth foul, so that's another one to foul out. Yep, number 15, that is. That's going to be Charles Mitchell. He's going to be fouling out today. They gave it a lot of effort, these uh, Western Hike Jets. They sure have. Yeah. Oh, all right, so here comes a whole mess of bears, and that's Yeah, uh, completely subbing out. I'm sure there's one more down there. Yep, Trevor Wardrop is waiting just on the out-of-bounds line. He's going to check out Landon Miller's. Everybody else is checked out. So a whole new fresh group back in. Yeah. Give everybody a good look at it. Now, there is one more sport I'll talk about. I'll be faster with this one, guys, I promise. I know that was dragged on a little bit. But it's boys baseball, one of the very hopefuls of the year. Um, they're preseason ranked number one in the district. If you were to compare some districts, they may be ranked number one preseason throughout the entirety of 5A. Um, they are kind of led by Braden Harper, and he is committed to Carl Albert State as of now and Colin Fisher, who's committed to the University of Arkansas, Woo Pig Suey, and he's going to be pitching there. So their first scrimmage is going to be February 18th at Edmond Santa Fe. If you guys are interested in going, there's no times on anything just yet. Or dates. Or uh, February 18th is oh, okay. the date. Okay. That'll be their first scrimmage. So next, their first game is going to be March the 5th at Purcell. So their first game is going to be an away game, but then they come home right after and that's going to be on the 7th against either Ardmore or Edmond Santa Fe. It'll be a home game against one of those two. And last but not least, one of their big trips they're taking, they're going to Pensacola, Florida this year to play in a spring break baseball tournament, which will be a really exciting opportunity for those guys. So, I mean, they're playing some of the best 6A teams in the state through, their, through the baseball program. Okay. So it'll, right. it'll be some really good stuff. You'll totally have to keep up with those guys. And... We'll be covering it here at NobleBears.tv. Yeah, that's going to be Scotty and uh, Mr. Kersey on the mic. So it's going to be great to hear them do the play-by-play -play for baseball. It should be an awesome, awesome time for all of us. Trevor Wardrop on the outside. Mason Crawford with the rebound. Jake Williams at the top of the key. Mason Crawford picks up just another rebound. And he just gets hammered in the inside. Yeah, gets hammered. He's going to go take uh, two shots here at the free throw line. That was a, that was a good job right there by... Uh, Mason Crawford being able to go get back-to-back -back rebounds. It helps when you guys have guys who can do that. No matter what, go find the ball and go get it. Just big-time boost of confidence, you know it. All right, so Mason Crawford knocks down his first one. He's got a good-looking free throw, too. Good rotation of the ball, does the same movements right before, and then and then I jinxed him. <laughs> I, 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 man, I don't know if you jinxed and that ball went in and then just came right back out. So, I don't know what it is about when I do that. The player sometimes is like, oh, I think I might have put the kibosh on you. Right. Well, the Bears are in a spread defense here. Kind of like a 3-2 zone, it looks. Well, thank you again, NobleBears.tv fans, for watching. There's well over 1,200 IP addresses tuned in to the station right now, this very second. And uh, we, we, again, that is on average 2.5 people per IP address. So that's quite a few uh, people watching. The crowd is not really, really packed behind us here. Yeah, so it's I'm starting to get cold of, outside. Yeah. I don't blame them. I totally <laughs> don't blame them. That's why. Are hey, you scared to get out to your car? Uh, man, it's going to be a cold one. I'm going to not just get out to my car. I'm going to run to run my car. To your car. So, I'm going to start it early. I'll tell you that. You have so, one of those starters on your car. I, I do. On oh, my key fob. Very, very lucky. Kid. So... <laughs> But, I don't um, even have that on my car. Hey, I'll tell you, that Noble Bears TV is going to be so nice for our program to have 
come baseball season mm-hmm. because you know how cold it is. Oh, well, the first in couple the, of games, and right? those in those ten bleacher stands. At mm-hmm. least in a basketball gym, it's warm. Yeah, like yeah. you're in clothes, yeah. it's completely warm. Baseball is cold mm-hmm. and outside. Yeah, everybody's outside. So it. I think Scotty said he was going to try to do a lot of the away games and stuff too. Not sure if that's going to happen or not, but because there's so much involved with this program. Right. There's so much that goes into each and every live stream. I mean, there's so many people that have to get involved. Yeah. Yeah. So. We, we have uh, Bronson, plus we have Ricky here, and uh, we're missing Jack tonight. Hope you're doing okay, buddy. And, uh, and David Rowden, yourself, myself. And so, you know, there's five, six people that have to be involved in it in order to make it work, cameramen, that sort of thing. So nice jumper yeah, by Jake. Good job by Jake Williams right there. And that's just a few names of yeah. people that have helped and consistently helped. You ought to give them, you ought to give them some names of some more people that helped, like during bat, like football season or, I mean, you know how many people there are that have helped Noble Bears TV be what it is today. Oh, my goodness, and the grow, Reeds. And grow the fan base oh, like yeah. it has today. The Kersey's, the Reeds. Kira Boydston, who, you yeah, know, big Kira, shout out to Kira. Yeah. Kira worked with us during our first year, and she graduated high school. And folks, listen to this. She went to OU and, uh, and applied for a job with Sooner Vision. They said, no, nah, we normally don't hire young, you know, people. She's like, got a lot of experience, showed them all the clips and all the things she did during football season, and now she got hired and uh, it's such a great thing to hear that. And that's Sooner Vision. That's all the video that is at the OU football games. Pretty yeah, awesome. And I guarantee you she's by far one of the youngest ones there. Oh, no, no, there's no doubt. No yeah. doubt. They said, no, we wouldn't let you be a producer at any time soon until you're senior. And she said, this is what I've done, done the yeah. producing I've of. produced a television show <laughs> and like, week in oh, and week out. my goodness, okay. We got somebody here. So yeah. that's what NobleBears.tv brings. So watch yeah. this ball. Someone who's, someone who's already experienced and knows they can fill in the role. Because even as a senior, you still haven't done a live, like, production. Right. Like, you've practiced it, maybe right. simulations of it, but you haven't, you haven't completely simulated it. Well, in a real scenario, you know, and for you as well, man, thank you for stepping in and helping out and just, I mean, it wasn't planned. It wasn't prepared. You just, uh, you you were going to do the stats for me while I did this. And so I'm so glad that you were, you know, decided to do it. And what a great father son uh, opportunity for us to be able to bring this to everybody here in Noble. So thank you. Yeah. You know, this is, this is fun to me for sure. I, I enjoy this a lot, not just, not just to hang out with you. Of course, I love hanging out with you and having a conversation with you for a long time, but getting a chance to really cheer on the Noble Bears and to be a part of the program in some way or shape. So it, it definitely makes me feel better and a lot happier to be here knowing it's making an impact in somebody else's life. You bet, so. man. That was Gwen had some good opportunities there, made sure and stopped the ball, got a good rebound there. Kicks, kicks it out over to him. He shoots, knocks it down. You know, I mean, he's just he's just a great kid, man. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I'm thinking coach is calling a timeout to get a few subs going on, I think. I think just a really quick timeout. Yeah, one minute, 15 seconds yeah. left. Yeah, just getting some substitutions in, I believe. So Make sure he's got five in. I think he might right. have six. <laughs> Uh oh, let's count them out. One, two. Okay, I got five. Three, four, okay. five. All right. Some guy was going to sit on the bench. He was just having a Watch your feet, watch your feet, but there you go. He didn't go out of bounds. The lefty's got it. <laughs> you like this kid, don't man, you? Trevor I don't Rudd. Like Trevor Rudd. I can't help it. That's all right, man. He, I can't help it. I man. think he's going to be something hey, special in the future. If, if there's one guy that can take a joke <laughs> and totally dish one back, <laughs> oh, yeah. It's that's, that guy. That's your guy. Yeah. That's your guy. I pick on him. And boy, does he let me have it. He gets me right back every time, well, man. Good, good, good. I, good. I think that's why I do. Because every time I say something to him, I hope he watches his back. Yeah. So he knows. Because I've never told him he's gotten me before. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I always think of something or walk away or yeah. whatever. I can't yeah. let him get the best of me. You're right. But if he goes and watches tonight, he's going to know. <laughs> he at least got you once. Huh? Uh, more than once. Okay. I've maybe at least got him once. So. <laughs> So, uh, big shout-out to Trevor Rudd. That's my buddy, man. That's my friend. I like this kid, 32. Also, Bradley, uh, he's uh, man, he's got some hops. Man, did you see him throw down in the JV game? Yeah, I did. As the crowd went crazy. And yeah. he goes reverse just like that. I'm thinking, Count the bucket on I'm this one? I'm thinking they're going to call it on the, floor, oh, on the floor, but it is still body. double bonus anyways. Okay, so, right. he should have two free throws at it kind of no matter what. Okay. I just think they're going to make him earn the two. 
uh, two points right here on the free throw line versus under the bucket with a layup. Well, you guys be sure and tune in on Friday night. Guthrie is coming into town, and the Noble Bears have got a tough 5A matchup ahead of them. So get ready for that one. Yeah, I'll tell you, folks, this is a really important one for yeah. the Noble Bears. Yeah, Coach Bradley said that at halftime. He said, listen, we got to get the Guthrie. we got to get the, uh, of course, the Western Heights tonight. we got to get Guthrie. We've got to get, oh, no. I think there was a. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no, that's all right. He's, he yeah, just a little said, mistake. Oh, it, I'm Co sorry, coach, coach wasn't mad at him. No, man. I mean, that type of stuff happens. If, if you were to do that in a state championship game, I'm sure mm. someone would be a little frustrated. But um, in a game like this, um, that's kind of over. It's okay. Number 10 from the outside shoots it. Misses. Bradley with a big rebound. Is no, it, he's not really. a sophomore? Yes. Wait. Goodness, goodness uh, Man, I don't know. I think he's a junior. Still, oh, goes. oh there yeah. goes Quinn to the rack. Lays it up with the right hand on the it's left up. side. Ah, just up the top of the back. Well, let's go find somebody to interview. We'll be back here in just a minute, hoping for a Colin Fisher. That's our guy. Is it? Okay. Hey, welcome Mason Crawford. Thank you for joining NobleBears.tv. Did you get a lot of play time in the uh, JV game as well? Yeah. Well, you guys really threw down on them in the JV team. Yep. Just tell me about tonight. What do you think was the key to uh, the Bears uh, having such an easy victory? Oh, you know, running things right. And, uh, we had a lot of substitutions come in and have a lot of people rotating around. Right, indeed. Well, how's your body? How's everything feeling? Your ankles, all that stuff. Feeling good? Yeah, I'm feeling good. You're making a lot of good role play minutes uh, happen for the Bears. You're coming in at times when the Bears really need you and uh, super proud of you for the things that you've done. Yeah, thank you. Okay, Mason Crawford, uh, tell me about the rest of the year. What's, uh, what's going to happen in the second part of the year? Oh, you know, I hope we uh, make pretty far in the regionals and the area and playoffs. Trying to make a state tournament. Sounds good. Sounds good. Noble's uh, lineup came out tonight. Uh, oh, that may be the girls' lineup. Let me see if that's correct. Uh, yeah, that is the girls' lineup. So the boys is a little bit different. Uh, the boys is, uh, let's see if this one's it right here. Yep, yep, there you go. Noble's right there, seventh. And then these are the ones. That's on the west side yeah. of it. So matching up pretty good right now. Let's see if we can keep the yeah. victories going. What about Guthrie coming into town? How's that going to look? I think it might be closer than this one. Yeah, I think so, too, as a matter of fact. So, NobleBears.tv fans, you guys be sure and tune in and, and watch Mason and the rest of the Bears uh, put on a performance uh, on Friday night. So, thank you, Mason Crawford. I'll let you get in there and join your team. Thank you for joining NobleBears.tv. Thank you. Absolutely. these headphones on completely <laughs> okay oh, hopefully i can just hear you uh without the headphones on Matt. these are a little sweaty a little sweaty well hey so let's just wrap this up and uh thank you again so much for uh ricky bobby for bronson for helping out tonight appreciate you guys and then uh david rowden for stepping in and helping out uh trevor thank you so much for being a part of this you, program you know you know what matt thank you thank you for making this all happen if it wasn't for you and the oklahoma sports network who started the, it, right? The idea of that getting into noblebears.tv, um, none of this would be possible. So, well, you know I what? Appreciate you saying thank that. you. Yeah, I, thank, I appreciate you saying and that. It's all about the kids, though, man. I just All I want to do ever is just support these kids and try to get their names out there in front of the thousands of people, to include college coaches, you know, that are watching right well, now. Well, you do quite the job. Well, thank you. Appreciate really appreciate it. you, Matt. You close us out tonight. All right. Well, it's hey, best said. It's only best said with only two words, and it is. Go Bears. Go Bears. <laughs> you guys have a great night. <laughs> ah.